What's up guys, Eagle Man here today, back with another Wax Break. Today I'm going to be busting open this blaster box of 2006 Upper Deck Series 1 and Series 2. So there are four 32 card jumbo packs, plus one bonus 32 jumbo pack. Five 32 card jumbo packs in this box. Pretty cool, it's, it's honestly really tough for me to find the early 2000s Upper Deck stuff, which is my favorite stuff. I love early 2000s cards, especially Upper Deck and... Um, yeah, this is going to be really cool. I'm really excited for this. I found this on eBay and ended up winning a bidding war for it. Uh, pretty excited for this stuff. 2006 was the year I started to collect cards, um, like fully, really got into card collecting. I bought some packs when I was younger, around 2005-ish, I think. But this set is like 1,200 cards or bigger. It is a massive set. That's how Upper Deck did it. That's a pretty cool way to fill it and there are the packs so they're see-through that's interesting all right empty box and one two three four five jumbo packs right here you can see right through them but uh yeah let's just go ahead and get started here a massive set out of yeah 1250 i think is the the total one so let's see what we got. And they're not stuck together, so that's really good. Let's see if we can focus on the cards a little better. It's kind of tough to see. Really tough to read the names. All right, let's try this. Mariano Rivera base. That's nice. Luis Gonzalez. Brad Penny. Mark Pryor. Dan Johnson. Sammy Sosa on the Orioles. That's cool. Um, I like the rookie card logo. I like the way that they did that back then. Um, Alex and Tyler with the massive glove. That's so cool. Such a funny picture. Uh, Dan Ortmeyer. Sorry, I got, got like the glare going on. I'm just trying to read the names a little bit better. Williams, Escobar, Shane Victorino, Marlon Anderson, another rookie card, Tommy Murphy rookie, and here are the inserts, I guess. So we got the mascots. This is a really short insert set. I actually have this entire insert set. So it's the, the Boston Red Sox insert. Yeah, there's only like three of these cards in the set. Oh, yeah, there's four. See, uh, oh, no, there's three. Mr. Met, Philly Fanatic, and one of the Green Monsters. So we got that insert. We got a player highlight, a season highlights insert. Pedro Martinez with the Mets. And then... Barry Zito for the season highlights. So those are the inserts. There are some really good rookies that we can get in here. Uh, Zimmerman and a couple other names. I can't remember off the top of my head. But again, guys, it's really tough to come across these cards. And if you see any, jump on it or just let me know. Because <laughs> I would love to buy any sort of these cards. Working on all these sets is really tough, especially with how big these are. I mean, 1,200 cards is pretty tough. If we were there. Albert Pujols. Nice. I almost skipped over Pujols there. He's got a nice Pujols base. Ryan Friel. Probably Jinx. Of course, there are parallels in this. It's, it's uh, kind of tough to notice them, though. They are really subtle parallels. Matt Capps, rookie. That's nice. Javier Vasquez. Johnny Estrada. Luis Castillo. Preston Wilson. Right. Sean Burnett. Brandon Webb, Julio Lugo, Mike Thompson rookie, Jordan Tyler rookie, and then <laughs> looks like we might collect this whole set once again. So here, there's the Philly Fanatic, one of my favorite mascots to watch. He's got some funny moments. And then the season highlights inserts Zimmerman and Manny B and Manny. Nice. So again, I love Upper Deck cards. They made some amazing stuff back then. Their first set, 1989, really set the tone for how well they were going to make cards. Unfortunately, they lost their license, and they stopped making baseball cards. However, they still do make hockey cards, which are pretty popular, and they're beautiful. I don't collect hockey cards, but um, I do come across a few channels that open them up. There's Ivan Rodriguez, and those cards just look gorgeous. And I wish Upper Deck had a license, or I wish Upper Deck would just go back to making Baseball cards, even if the logos aren't on them. Tyler Johnson, rookie. Uh, Panini doesn't have a license either, but they still make baseball cards. Even though the uh, logos are airbrushed out. Nelson, rookie. Um, people kind of mind that, but I really don't mind. 
And the cards do look really nice. It's good to have competition in, in the hobby. It makes everything... Here's a Josh Barfield rookie. And we got the Mr. Met now. So we just collected the whole set of inserts. And along with the Gred Maddox, Albert Pujols. Nice. The season highlights. So there it is. We collected an entire insert set right on camera. You guys have it. All three inserts right there. One, two, and three. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, I actually already had that insert set. It was in someone's old card collection that I got. Of course, I get tons of those in my mail day videos. I'm sure if you checked out my channel, there's tons of those types of videos where I just buy people's old collections on. Cano, just a Nippert rookie. And, uh, yeah, kind of seeing their names. You know, it's really tough. I don't like this particular design that they did. I prefer the other designs they did, like 07 and 08. Those were really good designs. There's a Francisco Liriano rookie. Tony Armas. Luke Scott rookie. Randy Johnson on New York. That's a cool one. I like that a lot. Troy Glaus. David Risk. Mickey Leeds. And Kelly Stinnett. Tough to read, man. Tough to read. Craig Biggio checklist. Hanley Ramirez rookie. That's cool. And nothing there. James Shields. They're starting to get duplicate mascots now. Player highlights. Tom Glavin. And nice. Derek Jeter. That's nice. Some good, getting some good names on the season highlights inserts. So we got one more pack of the jumbo stuff. I am loving this. Especially because it's going to help me complete the set or... At least get closer to it. I know this set is just going to be ridiculous. It's definitely going to take a long, long time until I actually complete this one. There's another rookie. Chris Carpenter. Marcus Giles. Carlos Lee. David Bell. Ben Broussard on the Indians. I remember him. Miles. Trevor Hoffman. Great pitcher. I also love seeing the old school uniforms. It's weird to call them old school now. But like this is how I remember it. Like I remember the Marlins uniform like that. The old pinstripe with the the blue coloring to it. That's how I liked it. Ryan Franklin. I skipped over his name. Sidney Ponson. There's a nice Greg Maddox checklist. Jason Childers rookie. Jason Hamill rookie. Scott Olson rookie. Van Buren rookie. And more mascot. And then Johan Santana, Alfonso Soriano. So we didn't hit any huge rookies, but we hit some nice names. That was actually a lot of fun opening up those cards. I really enjoy the set. Let's go over the ones I decided to set aside. Randy Johnson, that's such a cool card to me. It's probably one of my favorites that we got. Uh, Lariano rookie, Albert Pujols base, and then Mariano Rivera. So those are some of the bigger names. But yeah, pretty quick break for you guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this quick box break of... Uh, 2006 Upper Deck Series 1 and Series 2 Jumbo Packs. If you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and like and subscribe for more Wax Breaks to come. And I'll see you guys next time.